Hi Taurus, it is Wednesday today, August 9th, 2023. Let's see what messages spirits have for you guys today for our daily get together. Let's be one step ahead of the game, Taurus. Is what I'm hearing. One step ahead of the game. All right, Taurus, if you guys feel like you need to detoxify yourself, um, head over to Pisces Studio and get some of this cave salt. I use it all the time. It's a bath salt and it detoxifies your energy. Um, the one that she's making right now, this one smells like coconut. It smells amazing. It's cave salt. So, again, if you're needing to detoxify your energy, um, I, I always have her bath salt, and so I just want to share it with you guys. I just got this new one, and it, it smells amazing, and it has, you know, like essential oils in it and stuff, and it is a detox salt bath. Um, you, you're not going to find it anywhere else but from Miss Lisa over at Pisces Studio. So um, if you guys need that, I just want to share it with you. Just go into her... <coughs> 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 So sorry, Tar Taurus. Just go into her description box. Look up Pisces Studio here on YouTube and you'll find that. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? All right, Taurus, let's see what you need to be aware of to be one step ahead of the game. Let's look at your tarot cards today. All right, so the first card you have is the Hermit, Virgo energy. I'm feeling like this is your very first card, Taurus, so this is very significant, all right? And something very important is requiring your attention right now. And this is something you, you and you alone can only do, all right? There, there's something here where you need to step away and take some time to yourself because there's some answers here that will be revealed when you do this the next card you have is you have the ten of wands there's a lot that you're carrying right now a lot of responsibility and some of it needs to be dropped off of you you cannot carry this any longer and you need to step back away from it because this type of energy, Taurus, this is going to be so much on your mind that you're unable to see up out of the box and to see what you really need to do. So you need to take some time alone. Uh-oh. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups. This is huge. This is a huge celebration. I'm seeing a wish fulfillment coming in. But spirits are telling you, this is Virgo energy, the hermit. Spirits are telling you that there's something that you and you alone can do. It can only do. Um, and that's why you have the nine of cups here. This is you singly going into hermit mode, taking a, a break, a time out from everyone. And there's something here that's going to bring you some clarity of mind about the weight that you're carrying around with you mentally or physically. You even have a tower at the end, of, at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here that needs a breakthrough. Something's got to give. And I see it. Um, if you take this time and space for yourself, it's going to break through very quickly with that tower moment. Okay, so you have the five of pentacles here. You could be this weight that you're carrying around it could be a lack of money you could have a lot of responsibilities financially with the five of pentacles someone may not be feeling well with the five of pentacles but there's something here that you can't just hand over to someone else that you're carrying around 
You have the Nine of Swords in the center. So it's going to be all around your reading, your energy. And then you have the Ten of Cups. So the Nine of Swords is here where there's something where you're worrying a lot. A lot of worry. Um, just something repeated messages coming into your head. There's just dragging energy here it's all over here though so when I look over here it's like clearing up right here so let's see what does Taurus need to know and then you have the hanged man Pisces energy The six of wands. Yeah, you're you're gonna be okay, Taurus. And then you have the Queen of Cups. You have the King of Cups. And you have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles here. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Let's look at this hermit mode, alright? Because there's something that you alone are the only one who can fix. It's some heavy energy here. It's very heavy. Spirits, why is the hermit here? Tell me about this hermit. Okay, so you have the magician, the five of swords, and the king of swords. Yeah, there's been a painful ending here with the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a Ten. Something ended. It's very painful. You might be spending some time, you know, alone right now, um, which is the space that you need to be in, but you need to do something here um, that is going to require you to to force yourself to do it all right you need to force yourself to stand up from this okay there's someone here in your energy Taurus this person feels very very hurt and they may even be drinking a lot. Um, if not drinking a lot, this person is doing something here where they're obsessively overreacting. And this person is like, they're overfilling their cups. Like they could be drinking a lot, smoking a lot, eating a lot. Something obsessively that this person's doing because they're feeling very hurt. And I feel like you're kind of closed off to this person and you're feeling hurt too. But whoever this is, if they haven't done it yet, I'm seeing this person rushing over towards you, getting into your personal space, into your personal bubble and wanting to say something to you. All right. There's a messenger coming in here. Yeah, there's someone here that is really up in their mind about you, up in their head about you. The Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is, this is someone who loves you. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The King of Cups. This person might ask a lot from you. The King of Swords. They're showing a real masculine side of them and the Six of Wands. They're wanting you to recognize them, whoever this person is, all right? Oh, this person goes from sweet to cold, all right? You have the Six of Wands. They're trying everything they can to get you to recognize them. And they're showing very masculine energy towards um, this side of them. So they're showing like this, this maybe 
over emotional side and then they're showing this cold side it's almost like they try to win you over one way when they come in like this for some of you this person has already showed up for others of you they haven't but this is someone riding in and out all right and they have something to say here a quick message and they don't even think about it it's like their emotions overtake them and they just spit something out of their mouth <coughs> and I feel like what they have to say they try to do it emotionally and then if that doesn't work they use these cold words and then you have the four of wands showing up right here wow this person's really up in their head about you they're thinking about being single, though. Why? And getting your attention somehow. Why is the Four of Wands here? You have the Seven of Swords, the stars in reverse. So you have Aquarius energy and you have the Page of Wands. This is someone who hasn't healed, Taurus. so sorry this is someone who's going to tell you they've healed like oh I'm okay without you Taurus I'm perfectly fine but that star is in reverse <coughs> and this is someone lying and this is the message hold on just a second you guys let me grab a drink having a hard time spitting these words out Taurus because whoever whoever you're dealing with here they want this bad with you and the words they're saying it's like my sh throat chakra is like closing up picking up this person's energy they're 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 desperate to get your attention and this is someone that you're up in your head about <coughs> you could have blocked communication from this person for someone this person's in jail why is the yeah this person's watching you it's like they're watching your Facebook or something watching you up in their head about you they want a reconciliation with you Taurus this person's energy is so strong you guys it's like overwhelming they're up in their head about how to have some type of conversation with you and I feel like there's a block in communication. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? You have the world. There's unfinished business here. This person is very up in their emotions here with the Five of Cups about having to hold back and this is someone that that you're up in your mind about that you're thinking about they feel like there's unfinished business here with the world showing up in reverse why is the ten of cups here this is someone that you have history with showing up in your energy this could be an ex why is the ten of cups here this could be someone that you were married to that is thinking about you a lot
They're trying to manifest this back into their life. It's almost like this person sees you as a mother, you know, like a family member, someone that there's no way they can walk away from you. They don't know how to walk away from you. And so they're in this magician energy trying to pull out every trick in the book to to be able to come back into your life and offer you this love. This is the king and the queen of cups. If this is not your reading, then don't take it. But there's someone here that I, you know this person loves you. You feel very connected emotionally to this person. And it looks like something happened here. Um, and this person's wanting to come back in and fix it. And you could have blocked communication from them. You have the hanged man energy here. And then you have the six of wands. Why is this hanged man here? You're, I'm telling you, you'll receive messages from whoever this person is. And um, it's going to leave you thinking, whatever this person they have to say here coming into the future, their words are going to be much different than what I'm seeing up here. I'm seeing someone here coming from the heart. This person wants marriage. They want to have it all with you. They see you as their Ten of Cups, as their happily ever after. There's no one else like you. And so I do see messages breaking through this blocking communication and going back and forth. Why is the Six of Wands here? You have Sagittarius energy with temperance. For some of you, we all have free will. But for some of you, um, I'm seeing you more focused on your money than this person. You could have even blocked communication with them. And whatever you're working on here as far as your money goes, I'm seeing it being extremely successful here. Because you're finding peace with walking away from this energy. And I see you here looking at your coins, looking at your pentacles. All right. Why is the queen, king and the queen of cups here together? For some of you, um, there's someone new coming into your life. But for others of you, I definitely see a past energy or someone that you could have been married to. You have the emperor and the empress here. Now we have the queen of cups. So you may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be anybody. There's someone here that could have walked away from you, Taurus. They could have felt defeated in some way by some type of an argument or for you standing up for yourself here. And um, this person wants to, you know, wants to cut this cold energy that is standing between the two of you. They want to cut it out now is what I'm getting. It's like whoever this is is going to speak some type of truth here and say, I love you and it's just it's communi cold hard communication coming in here okay you guys let's clarify these last two cards this overall meaning of this reading because there's there's a very strong energy showing up here and it is like someone who's like, I'm just going to get on this bike and I'm going to Taurus. 
That's a very hasty decision. And I'm feeling like there's something here where there could be little to no communication right now. And you're up in your head about this. You could have went into hermit mode. You could have decided, you know, I don't really want to talk to this person right now. I don't want to argue with them anymore. So you have them showing up here with, you know, like, let's, let me give this to you. This person, they might work a lot with their hands. Um, let me see something. Sorry, Taurus, I seem to have... Yeah, I set them right here. Okay. Spirits, why is this person rushing towards Taurus? What do they want? See, the Ten of Swords. This ending for this person is a lot for them to bear. The Ten of Swords is here and they just keep repeatedly thinking about this. And it's like this is someone that is, is slow to come back, I feel like, and then they, but they are thinking about you is the message that is trying to come across through this reading. And they're returning slowly here. But I feel like, okay, so this is slowly, like this person could have been gone for a while. And then there's this snap decision where they just say, okay, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. All right. With the Knight of Swords energy. I'm just going to see if we can, if we can do this again. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? You have the Empress. This is an apology coming into the Empress, which is you, male or female. See, someone... Someone has, like... This bird is sitting on this person's shoulder, like, constantly... Constantly speaking in their mind, like... Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. You know, I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like this is someone that, um... Is very, very attracted to you, Taurus. You may have a child with this person. Um... But this person just doesn't know how to move on. See, and I see a message coming in right here to Taurus. This is you, the Empress. There's no other Empress. This, You know, there's nobody else but you in this person's mind. And it is really eating at them. I almost feel like they're receiving karma here. They're wanting you to recognize them. They watch you somehow. All right, Taurus, so these are the messages that are coming through for you today. Um, I want you guys to choose one of these fairy cards before I let you go. I'll have you choose number one, number two, or number three. Okay, so there's number one, number two, or number three. All right, if you chose number three, you have the Princess of Autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. If you chose number two, you have ego. The illusion of being trapped. 
placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. And then number one here, you have the Empress, all right? Time to take action. The powerful, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. All right, Taurus, so these are your tarot cards today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture of what's happening in your energy. Um, I also wanted to bring these cards to your attention. You also get these by going over to Pisces Studio. The, the girl who made this deck, her name is Nicole, and um, she finds animals for people that have lost their animals. And... Um, she um, donates a percentage, I think it's like 20% of the sales of these cards to the animals, all right? And so she's right up my alley. I like to take care of the animals. All right, so... Okay, so you have walk away by I feel like that's what happened in this reading today is there was like this walk away and by like you felt like okay whatever and like there's someone here that you couldn't even argue with and you know you just wanted to get away and now this person is having sleepless nice nights fears and frustrations are very frustrated because there's a block in communication all right and someone cannot get through and then you have the ten of cups happiness good things celebration and party so this is like the card of a family okay so we all have free will but for some of you there is like this reconciliation coming into the energy we all have free will i see the person that is on your mind you may be thinking about them a lot right now because this person is seriously obsessively thinking over you over you taurus but to get these cards and donate to the animals um these cards are are really nice if you don't know tarot card meanings these are nice to have with you because you can, um, like, when you wake up in the morning or whatever, you can pull a card for the day, and it it tells you what what you need to focus on. Okay. On the bottom of the deck here, you have temperance, money restrictions, testing the waters, and balance. Okay, so temperance is an energy here that you have um, an angel with you and to have patience. All right, as far as money restrictions, testing the waters and balance. I'm seeing you finding peace with what is regardless in your reading here, Taurus. But remember, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me and... I'll see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.